So the big 10 in 10 all started um, when we were looking at our accident statistics. And um, our accident statistics were pretty good. I mean, they were world class. In, in 2017, we won the John Crabb Trophy, um, which was uh, an exceptional achievement for FM Conway. Um, but despite all of that, we just felt that there was, there was something missing. And so what we've done, we've done a deep dive into um, understanding the risk profile of our business. And what we found was quite alarming. We found that annually there were 10 big risks that were readily uh, occurring on, on, on a regular basis. What was even more concerning, that when we actually risk profiled those, we found that in the course of one year, for one company, FM Conway, there was the potential for 112 million life-changing harm or fatal accidents could, could potentially occur. And so we then started to question exactly, were we actually managing health and safety correctly? We'd spent a hell of a lot of time looking at some of the minor accidents to drive down lost time incidents to meet that zero harm goal. And yet we were missing that much bigger picture that picture that you know really does change people's lives, not just the individual that's involved in the accident, but also families as well. When we looked at the hierarchy of control, the application of the hierarchy of control was too behaviourally focused. And so what we done was we flipped it on its head and we had a complete focus, an unrelenting approach to eliminate, substitute or engineer out those hazards, put those controls in place that even if two people do fail in terms of making the wrong decision, etc., that they fail safely. So the big 10 in 10 is obviously 10 big risks, as we've already said, but it's also, it's, the strategy is laid out over a 10 year period, hence the term, the big 10 in 10. So each of the big 10 in 10 has a safety group, a safety in, or health and safety group. Within each of those groups, looking at uh, their specific um, hazard, so for example, confined space entry, um, they will look for a solution obviously to eliminate, substitute or engineer out. So just to give you an example, the confined space um, team have actually eliminated 4,000 entries into the confined space. Because if you don't have to put a person down there, then obviously um, the risk is, um, is eliminated. Of those 112 million um, potential fatal or life-changing harm activities that we identified early in, in the process, we have already in the first year eliminated 4 million of those. So that's 4 million contributed to a safer industry. That's 4 million that's contributed to the fatal six principles that, are, that we support obviously from an MPA perspective.